Hello guys, my name is Tully. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make swords in Minecraft. And that kind of sounded a bit weird, but I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually customize what your swords look like in Minecraft using paint.net, which is actually really easy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just head over to your resource pack folder like I am right now and just select the sword that you want to use as your background image because you're going to be ah, I can't talk. Because you're going to need to be using a bit of a background image just to show you where your sword is going to be. And um, yeah, so just pretty much choose a sword. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, just follow what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not really commentating about what I'm doing right now just because it's a really easy thing. And I mean, the majority of you will already know how to get a sword out of your resource pack because I'm guessing that you're not noobs. But anyway, pretty much just put on a uh, sword from your resource pack and put it into paint.net. I'm probably just going to be using a faithful th um, not 32, 64 by 64 sword. Um, I'm going to just use a gold sword and then just press open. Now, I like to choose a 512 by 512 resolution, but if you don't have a good computer, you might want to go lower. It honestly just depends. So just go to your resize and then size it to the you know size that you want it to be. I'm going to go with 512 today just because it gives it a nicer look and it makes it look more HD. So yeah, once you've done that, just go to your adjustments, brightness and contrast, turn the brightness all the way up and the contrast to about 70, and then just press OK. That's just to give it a bit of a background look. And um, yeah, sorry, my voice just like turned really weird then, I don't know why, but anyway. Create a new layer, select the layer, and then now we're done. So all we've got to do now is pretty much just customize our sword to make it how we want to. I like to just outline the sword and make it look really nice from there. So just outline the sword as much as you want to, like, Put, put little additions on. I'm probably just going to stick with the actual outline of the sword that I already have just because I'm just, you know, going a little bit simple today. I'm not trying to create anything outstanding, but, you know, there isn't any limits really, guys. So if you have anything to say or, you know, do or um, if you have any ideas, just feel free to go for it. And, you know, there's no real limits in this. So I like to have a pretty long blade, but, you know, it depends on your preference, really. I mean, some people like to have really short blades, like looking a bit like knives or machetes. I mean, you can really go with any look that you want to. I personally just like a simple long blade. I might make a knife pack or a um, machete pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to do one, but, um, but, like, if you want one, make sure that you tell me because, honestly... A lot of the reason why I actually create things is because people have actually asked me to. So yeah, if you want like a knife pack or a machete pack or anything like that, feel free to tell me and I totally will because I'm pretty bored. I mean, I don't got much to do, but this is probably one of the most requested videos on my channel, like how to customize texture packs, how to customize swords. But basically, I, um, I can pretty much just say you guys can use this for anything you want. I mean, um... You can use it for, you know, tools, like hoes and pickaxes and shovels and everything like that. So, yeah, it's generally a really easy thing to do, so you don't really need much experience to do any of this. Um, once you know how to do this, it's extremely easy from down, like from there on out. You don't really need much experience at all to, to do any of these things. So, yeah, basically once you have... Um, your sword there, all you want to do is just, you know, draw some cool things in there to make it look even better, and yeah, so I'm going to be drawing some flames in there today just to make it look really nice, and yeah, so once you've done your patterns and everything, you want to colour it in, but we're not quite there yet, I'm just still colouring in things and everything like that, so basically you've just got to draw, you know, some extra features that you want on there. I'm just going to be drawing some flames today. I don't actually know why I'm drawing flames, but you know, it just gives it that extra bit of character. I'm just not, I'm not really going to be using this sword, but I'm just showing you guys what actually can be done um, to your swords in resource bags. So yeah, um, I'm going to just draw some lines here because I can. Seriously, like why not? Why not? Um, there's no reason why I shouldn't be doing this, so uh, I'm probably going to fill those bits in with like a rainbow just to show you guys exactly what can be done. There isn't actually any possibilities. Um, I mean, there isn't any, uh, limits or, uh, anything like that, so, um, yeah. Once you have done, I don't think I'm gonna get this, uh, once you've done, basically, drawing, um, make sure that you actually have everything drawn there, so then you won't have to go back, and then you've got to recolor it and everything like that, but make sure that you have absolutely everything you want added before you start coloring, because there's nothing worse than being like, you've coloured everything and you're like, oh, I should have added this, I should have added that, because you actually can't go back and do it, um, 
without you know undoing all the coloring and then it's a bit of a waste so yeah I'm gonna be going and doing the blade now I think I'm gonna be doing a diamond sword look so I'm gonna make it a bit of an aqua color you guys can choose whatever color you want just depending on the sword I mean if it's gold maybe a bit of a yellow you know diamond blue um, all that kind of stuff so yeah it's pretty easy and I do like I just like the shade like this you know get a bit of a darker color on the blade there um, once you've got the area selected, you know, just get a bit of a lighter color on the other side of it, and it's only three, um, you know, shades of tone, so it's pretty easy to do. You don't really need much experience to do any of this, so yeah, um, once you've done that, just go over to your, um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> go over to magic one tool select any extra bits that you want I mean for me I'm just gonna be selecting the flames just so I can color those in and um, yeah so just color in any of your extra features that you have me personally I only have the flames there so it isn't much of a big deal um, some people don't even like going with extra features it's just basically the way that they want to color the sword and just make the sword the resolution of it and everything like that so it shouldn't necessarily be that hard to do. Um, I'm just gonna color in the. I'm gonna make that bit, uh, the one that's like meant to be on top of your hand. I'm gonna make it the same color as the blade. So uh, I'm gonna just color that in with the paintbrush tool to make it a bit easier and stuff like that. So um, all right, that's looking good. That's looking good so far. So I will have that done like that. And then I'll pretty much just color in the rest of it rainbow. So I'll see you guys when I have done that. Alright guys, I'm back and I'm almost done coloring everything up. So yeah, um, just finished up coloring. You know, there isn't really much uh, that I did in between there. But you know, I'm just showing you guys what can be done. I won't be using this sword just because, I mean, it looks, it looks cool. It looks interesting, but it's just not my style. I'm just showing you guys exactly what can be done. I'm not necessarily doing this to actually use it. But if you guys want this sword to be released, I mean, I'll be more than happy to just put it down the link in the description so you guys can use it. I don't really think that you guys will be wanting, wanting to use it. I'm just trying to think of crazy things to put on it to just show you guys exactly what can be done. So, yeah. um, I basically have finished sword now. So once you've done it, just pretty much go up to your uh, file tab thingy. Wait, I have to just fill in this first because it isn't. It isn't filled in, and it needs to be filled in. Also, any transparent uh, transparency in your sword will probably be turned black. Just saying, but yeah, just save it whenever you want to uh, have it saved. Save it to somewhere that you'll remember where it is, so then you can put it in your resource packs folder, um, like your sword in the actual resource pack that you want it to be in when you are done. So make sure to save as a PNG and save it as like the actual item like diamond will be diamond underscore sword and then gold will be gold underscore sword, you know, etc etc. So basically when you're done that, just um you need to put it back in your resource box holder. And if you can't if you don't know how to do that, feel free to just follow exactly what I'm doing right now. So um I'm gonna just put it in the resource box holder now. So yeah, go to your start bar, type in percent app data percent and then press enter and then go into your Minecraft resource packs and then that's pretty much where all your resource packs are. So you can choose I'm gonna put it in the Blaze PvP resource pack folder just because I don't really use that resource pack that much. So it won't really be much of a problem. Now just go into your items folder, just how I am right now, and then put the sword in there. So it shouldn't really be really hard to do this, so if you have any questions or problems, feel free to leave a comment, and I will most definitely respond to you ASAP. So yeah, once it's in there, just feel free to open up Minecraft and then go onto a server, or in one of your single player worlds after you have selected the resource packet that your sword is in, just to test it out. Um, I'll just show you quickly what you guys can do with this, it's super easy. Um, there's honestly not that much that needs to be done from here on out. I mean, you've pretty much put it in there. Now, I'm just showing you that it 100% works. So, yeah, why are the items range everywhere? Because that's weird. Okay, now here is the light diamond sword. And it has worked. This looks awesome. So, yeah, hopefully that once you guys try it out, it'll work for you. So, yeah, um, it's pretty much all I had to say, guys. If you need any help, just feel free to leave a comment or anything like that. So, yeah, as you can see right here. 
perfect. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe for more daily awesome Minecraft videos. Also, don't forget to leave a comment because I do make sure to all of them and respond to as many as I can. So hope you guys have an awesome day and peace out. Oh yeah, also, got any questions, leave a comment please because I will respond. So that's all I have to say guys. Have an awesome day. Peace out.